Next up, uh, we have what can you do with Experience Cloud? So over here, we have the, you know, the different things that we can do with Experience Cloud as I believe, you know, kind of a lot of things that she had already covered comes up over here. So the first one, uh, like, you know, is of course, partner portal. Yeah. Uh, when I say partner portal, again, whenever you are into a business where there are partners involved uh, who are supposed to do some sales or who are, so, who are supposed to uh, help you grow right in any way you would you would have to enable them in the best possible ways uh, not just with providing the right and the latest information but also with a platform where you can do actionable things which generate revenue not just for you but also for themselves uh, and that's exactly what you can do with the help of partner portal imagine you're running a, a tire dealership and uh, you or let's say you're running a steel dealership where you're uh, supposed to sell steel or, or uh, what do we call it iron uh, like the one that is used in uh, concrete right the iron bars bars yeah iron bars yeah. or tmt bars yeah tmt bars so like let's say uh, you you uh, you're selling tmt bars of uh, any any brand right out there and the and the price of the tmt bars fluctuate every day uh, based on the cost of uh, iron, right? And you want the latest information to be uh, available to you in order to uh, provide the right quotation to the customer that you're going to provide the code to. So you would need live information, live data in order to provide that code. And at the same point of time, you should have a portal where you can submit, uh, <laughs> where you can submit the order at that portal itself when you're uh, when that particular price is getting fluctuated or when that uh, particular price is getting hit. Right. So in all of these situations or whenever you have to enable your partners at the end of the day in any way, uh, not just by providing them information, but, but by providing by making them really your partners uh, in the in the technology that you are building around in order to run your business. So that in that situation, you can create partner portals, then there comes account portal, then the storefronts, if you're running some e commerce websites, then there are micro sites that you can create uh, different micro sites can be built on top of experience cloud uh, and any data that uh, that site would want to pull up and which is dynamic can be pulled up from experience cloud or from the Salesforce uh, database itself. Then if you really want to create some industry solutions, you can use experience cloud. Uh, if you really want to create a customer service hub uh, or a platform to provide better customer service, you can use experience cloud for that as well. Help centers, support site, mobile app, anything and everything can be really built on uh, top of experience cloud. There's no limit to it.